What's going on guys? GitHub Actions makes it easy to automate workflows that include multiple tasks such as building, testing and deploying applications right from the GitHub platform. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up a workflow to build, test and deploy a React application to an Amazon S3 bucket by using GitHub Actions. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and let's get to it. First, I'm going to create a new repository in GitHub. So I'm going to click on create repository and I'm going to name it React Actions. I'm going to click on create repository and now I'm going to clone this repo locally. Git clone. Let's enter to that folder. And now I'm going to create a new React project really quickly. So this is npx create react app and I'm going to create that app within this directory. The react application has been successfully created. Now let's open Visual Studio Code. Okay and here I'm going to create a new folder. This will be .github and within this folder I'm going to create another folder that will be workflows. And I'm going to create a new YAML file where we are going to put the GitHub Actions workflow. So this is workflow.yaml. Okay, the name of this workflow will be React CI. And first, we need to specify what is going to be the action that is going to trigger the execution of this workflow. So here we're going to say on. And here we are going to specify that will be when we push changes to the repo. So this is push. Okay, and here we need to specify what are the branches where we are going to run this workflow. So when we push a change in any of these uh, branches, this workflow will be triggered and executed. This is branches and we're going to add master here. Okay, and now we need to specify the list of shops that are going to be part of this workflow. So this is shops. And the first shop will be building the application. We can set up, for example, what is the operating system where this workflow is going to run. So we can say runs on, and we can use, for example, Ubuntu latest. There is another setting that is the version, for example, in this case, the node version where this shop is going to run. So here we can specify strategy, and within this strategy, we can say matrix. And within matrix, we can specify the node versions. So this is node version. And we can set up an array with the versions of node where this shop is going to run. Let's say 15x. Okay, now let's set up what are the steps that are going to be part of this workflow. So this is steps. Okay, first we're going to check out the code from this branch. So here we need to use a special action provided by GitHub. So this is uses and this is actions and this is checkout at v1. After we check out the code, we need to run npm install. After that, we're going to build the application. So see, this is run and this is npm build. And we can also run, for example, unit tests. So we can say run npm test. Okay, this is a basic workflow where we are checking out the code. We are running npm install to download all the dependencies. We are building our application statically and we are running the tests. So let's push this initial workflow to the repo. Git add everything. Git commit minus m initial commit. And now let's push the changes. Git push. Okay, now let's go to GitHub. So here are our changes. And if we go to actions, as we can see here, the workflow is running. Let's take a look at the log. So the workflow is now starting and we're going to see all the different actions. So it's going to 
check out the code. It's going to run npm install. Now it's going to run npm run build. And now it's going to run the tests. After running the test successfully, the shop has been completed and we were able to successfully run our first GitHub Actions workflow. Okay, now let's add an additional step to deploy the application that we already built into Amazon S3. Okay, I'm going to set up a new step with a new action, actually the action from this repo. And here we have the details on that project, how to use it, some documentation, and how we can add that step into our workflow. So I'm going to use actually this step here. I'm going to grab that from here. And now let's go back to Visual Studio Code. I'm going to paste that step here. There are a couple of things here that we need to set up. So here we need to add these three secrets, the name of the Amazon S3 bucket, the access key ID and the secret access key. I already created a bucket in Amazon named React App Actions. And this bucket is public, as we can see here, all objects can be public. So if we push the build folder generated when we build the React application, we will be able to access the application as a static website. Okay, and now let's go to our GitHub repository and let's go to settings. And here we need to go to secrets. And here I'm going to add the AWS S3 packet name. I'm going to grab this name from here. The other repository secret will be the access key ID. And finally, I'm going to add the secret access key. Okay, and these are the three secrets that we need to set up the S3 packet. Let's go back. And here, the source directory, in our case, will be built. The AWS region will be US East 1. Okay, now let's push this new change to the repo. It add everything and it commit minus M adding deployment. And now let's push the change, git push. Okay, now let's go to our project on GitHub and let's go to GitHub Actions. Now we're gonna see that the workflow is going to run again. It's going to set up the shop. And as we can see here now, it's going to build the project required to deploy the application to S3. After it builds that project, it's going to start checking out the code of our project, then running npm install, build, and finally, is going to deploy to S3. So if we go here, this bucket will be empty. Now it's going to build the application, it's going to run the tests, and now it's going to deploy the build folder to Amazon S3. Okay, the workflow finished successfully. So if we go to Amazon S3, and if we refresh our bucket, we're gonna see the contents of the application. Yes, and if we go to the index file, and if we click on the object URL, we're gonna see our application up and running. So now let's make a change. Let's add some title here. And we're gonna see how the workflow is triggered again. And finally, we're gonna see the change here in our website. Let's go back and let's make a change in our code. So let's go to the app.js file. And let's say here, let's add an H1. Let's remove this. And let's add an H1. So this will be testing GitHub actions with React. Okay, and now let's push this change to the repo. Git add everything, git commit minus M adding message and let's push the change. Okay, let's go back to GitHub. And if we go to our GitHub Actions, we're gonna see a new workflow running. Let's take a look at the details. It's going to set up the shop. It's going to build the project to deploy the application. Now it's going to check out the code. It's going to install the dependencies again. Now it's going to build the application. It's going to run the tests and finally it's going to deploy the build folder to the S3 packet.
the workflow has finished successfully. And now if we refresh the page, we should see the message here. Yes, as we can see here, we have our new message with the change that we just pushed to a repo that is testing GitHub Actions with React. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.